In my previous videos on Git, I've shown that your local repository starts out with a branch called master. You also have a pointer called head that indicates what branch you currently have checked out. But head doesn't always have to point to a branch. As we'll see, it can also point to a specific commit. I'm going to use Flying Logic to show you how the head pointer works, and specifically how to understand what a detached head is. It turns out that having a detached head is not as scary or gruesome as it sounds. So, I'm starting this story after just having made my first commit to a new repository. As I make commits, the master branch moves to point to the latest commit. Since head points to master, each commit I add pushes head along with master. Branches are like bookmarks that help keep your place, and they are frequently used to keep track of more than one place in the repository. When a new branch is created, it typically starts pointing at the same place as the commit that was already checked out. So, I create a new branch called Feature. As you can see, this also moves head to point to the new branch. Even though you technically have a new branch checked out, since your two branches currently point at the same commit, nothing has changed in the project's actual files. Now let's add a couple of commits to our new feature branch. When we do this, master is left where it was, while feature and head are now pointing at the latest commit. Typically, we'd continue adding commits to our feature branch until we're satisfied, and then merge it back into master. Many Git users reserve master for the latest release of the project, and only merge to it when they do an official release. Now here's where it gets interesting. Let's say that way back at commit B, I deleted some files. This deletion got recorded as part of commit C. If I want to review those files, perhaps because I think I may want to recover them, I can directly check out that commit. The actual name of a commit is a long string of hexadecimal digits, not the simple single letters I'm using here. So my actual git command is going to look something like this. See what's happened? Head has moved to point at my historic commit. Moreover, all the files in my directory have changed to reflect the state of my project when commit B was made. Any additions, modifications, or deletions made in C, D, or E are gone from my working directory. They're not gone forever, of course. They're safely stored in those commits, and we even have branches bookmarking them to make them super easy to get back to. What happens now, however, often freaks out less experienced Git users. We are informed that we are in a detached head state. But here's the key. Your head is detached whenever it is pointing at a commit and not at a branch. It's just that simple. Now that I've gone back in time, all those deleted files are back. I can even make some experimental changes and then commit them. But let's assume I decide not to keep these experimental changes and want to abandon them. To do this, all I have to do is simply check out my feature branch again. Now I've traveled back to the present and left my alternate history of commits F and G behind. They still exist in the repo, but because they are not referred to by anything, they have become detached commits. At some future point, Git may come along and prune them, reclaiming their space. To drive home the point that head can point to a branch or a commit, let's specifically check out commit E. As you can see, commit E is where our feature branch is pointing. So what happens? Although nothing in our working tree of files has changed, Git again informs us that you are in a detached head state. And if we make a commit from here, it won't yet be a part of any branch. Detached head states can occur in a number of circumstances. For example, Git submodules are snapshots of other repositories that are included in your repository. When you check out your submodules, they are always checked out at a specific commit, and so they always have a detached head. So, a detached head is nothing to lose your head over. It's nothing bad or even unusual. It just means your head is pointing at a commit, not a branch. 